Did you ever catch yourself daydreaming about ditching that nine to five grind? Imagine your investments doing all the heavy lifting so you don't have to. If that sounds like a dream, it's about to get real. Today, we're diving back into the Schwab US Dividend Equity ETF, ticker symbol SCHD, with an update that's going to blow your mind. I showed you before how 50,000 in SCHD could beat your job's income, but guess what? The returns are even better than we thought. Your time is valuable, so I won't waste it. Here's exactly what we're covering. First, we're breaking down SCHD, the nuts and bolts, like its low expense ratio and laser focus on dividend growth. Next, why SCHD has got me fired up. Spoiler, it's about performance and that sweet, consistent dividend yield. Then, we'll crunch real world numbers. I'll show you how 50,000 in SCHD could not just match, but crush your job income through dividends and growth with updated figures that will blow you away. Finally, we'll wrap up with the mind-blowing benefits of SCHD as a long-term play. And trust me, the finale is a twist you won't see coming. If you're new here, hit subscribe and ring that bell so you're always in the loop. Let's get straight into it. The Schwab US Dividend Equity ETF, better known as SCHD. Here's what you need to know. It's a low cost ETF with an expense ratio of just 0.06%. Think of SCHD as your future retirement in action, providing peace of mind with a blend of stability, dividends, and growth. It's not just any ETF. It's like having a perfectly curated playlist of stocks from various sectors, giving you exposure to everything from tech to healthcare. Now here's the kicker. SCHD focuses on dividend growth. It's not just about stocks that pay dividends, but those with the potential to increase those payouts over time. All this while keeping fees ridiculously low. Investing in SCHD is like planting a money tree that grows not just through the value of the ETF, but through bigger dividend checks year after year without losing a chunk to high fees. SCHD is built for those playing the long game, those who want steady income and growth. It's more than just an ETF, it's your gateway to financial growth. SCHD strikes a balance, earning from market ups and downs with the added bonus of being cost effective and consistently paying dividends. Here's why SCHD has me excited and why it's not just another ETF on the market. Picture this, SCHD is trading around $84 per share flirting with all-time highs, but can it go higher? Absolutely, we're in this for the long haul, 30 years and beyond, so today's price is just a blip on the radar. And here's another game changer. The Fed is planning to lower interest rates. Lower rates make borrowing cheaper for everyone, including the big companies that SCHD holds. This means more profit for these companies, more spending from consumers, and ultimately bigger dividends for you. And in a low rate environment, dividend stocks, especially reliable ones, become even more attractive, which could push SCHD's price even higher. What really makes SCHD a conservative investor's dream is its top 10 holdings. We're talking about rock solid companies like Lockheed Martin, AbbVie, Coca-Cola, BlackRock, Home Depot, Bristol-Myers Squibb, Cisco Systems, Amgen, Verizon Communications, and Texas Instruments. It's a dividend lover's dream lineup. SCHD sector exposure is perfectly balanced. 17.3% in financials, 15.5% in healthcare, 14.3% in consumer staples, 13.3% in industrials, 13% in energy, and the rest spread across other sectors. This kind of diversification means you're not betting the farm on just one sector. Even if a few stocks underperform, SCHD's broad exposure protects you from major hits. And about those dividends, the 12 month trailing yield is 3.42%. It's not flashy, but it's consistent, and that's what counts in the long run. Check out SCHD's dividend growth over the last decade. It's been climbing steadily. This is key when we start plugging numbers into the dividend calculator. We need a solid dividend yield figure, and from Schwab's site, it's 3.42% for the last 12 months. Keep that 3.42% locked in because it's going straight into the initial annual dividend yield input of our dividend calculator. I wanna make sure you know where these numbers are coming from because the final numbers will blow your mind. Next, we need the average yearly growth of the dividend payout. 
Over the last 10 years, that's been 11.01%. This 11% is going right into our expected annual dividend amount increase percentage per year, and that's an input in the dividend calculator. Now, let's talk about stock appreciation. Since SCHD's inception in October of 2011, it's produced an annualized return of 13.28%, and that's without even counting dividends. In the last year alone, SCHD is up 12.82%. Sure, there will be ups and downs, but using the 13-year average of 13.28% for our expected annual share price appreciation percentage is a solid bet. The key figures I'm using, initial annual dividend yield, expected annual dividend amount increase percentage, and expected annual share price appreciation percentage are all based on historical performance. This isn't some inflated estimate. These are real numbers from SCHD's track record. Looking at the bigger picture, these 13-year numbers make a strong case for SCHD as a top choice for long-term investors. The real magic happens when you reinvest your dividends back into SCHD to buy more shares. This strategy supercharges your growth over 30 years thanks to compounding gains. It's like rolling a snowball down a hill. The longer it rolls, the bigger it gets. That's how you build wealth with SCHD. Now let's see how just 50,000 in SCHD could outperform your full-time job and set you up for a rich retirement. And if you're getting value here, a like and subscribe would mean a lot. For those looking to dive deeper into trading, my Patreon offers real-time alerts and there's a free trial link below for my custom trading view indicators. Thanks for being here. And with that, let's jump into the dividend calculator to run the numbers. All right, let's go ahead and get our dividend calculator set up. The first thing we want to do is change the dividend frequency, and that's going to go from annually to quarterly. Next, we want to make sure the drip is on, and that's the reinvestment. And then we need to set up our starting principal. That's going to be $50,000. And then after that, we want to come down and look at our initial annual dividend yield. That's going to be 3.42%. After that, we've got the expected annual dividend amount increase percentage per year. That's going to be 11.01%. And this could be a little bit confusing. And if the dividend amount grows at the same rate as the share price, the yield will stay the same over time. If you expect the dividend yield to increase over time, enter a slightly larger expected annual dividend amount increase percentage than expected annual share price appreciation percentage. So this is going over how to set this up. And again, we're using actual historical numbers and then we need to set up the expected annual share price appreciation per year. That's going to be 13.28%. And the years invested, we're going to set that to 30 years. Now we need to calculate the dividends and then let's go over those numbers. Now in the beginning, these numbers aren't that impressive. It's just like a snowball. When it starts rolling, it's nothing. After year one, our principal is 50,000. Our annual dividend is $1,732. After year five, we're up to $90,957 in principal, $2,902 in the annual dividend. Let's go down to 10 years and we're at $190,096 for principal, $5,476 for the annual dividend. Let's jump down to 15 years, our principal is now $392,969. The annual dividend is up to $10,221. After 20 years, we're at $804,000 in change in principal. Our annual dividend is now $18,890. After 25 years, we're up to $1,631,760 in principal. The annual dividend is now $34,603. And after 30 years, we're at $3,283,650, the annual dividend $62,883. Now let's recap our dividend portfolio after 30 years. The ending balance is going to be $3,773,170. Our total return, a whopping 7,446%. The average annual return, 15.5%. The annual dividend income is now up to $70,799. The total dividend payouts over 30 years, $533,283. And our yield on cost, 125.77%. Absolutely phenomenal. 
Now I know that not everybody can drop $50,000 today into SCHD, so let's run a couple different scenarios. Let's say you're starting with $10,000 in principle. You can put that in today and your annual contribution is going to be $100 per month. That works out to $1,200 per year on an annual basis. And when we hit calculate dividends, now we can see our ending balance would still be $1.3 million total return, 2,762%, average annual return, 11.83%, annual dividend income is up to $24,703.21. Let's say you can do a little bit better and do $200 per month or $2,400 per year. Check out what that does to the numbers. We're now up to 1,878,000. Total return, 2,190%. Average annual return, 11%. And our annual dividend income is up to $35,246. And one more scenario, $300 per month, which would work out to $3,600 per year. Hit that calculate dividends button and what are we at? $2.4 million for an ending balance. The average annual return, 10.62%. Annual dividend income, $45,789. Not too shabby. And now as a bonus, I want to give you one more scenario. I'm a real big fan of investing in tax advantaged accounts. So if you can do this in a Roth or a Roth 401k, it can definitely be worth your while. So what we want to do is we want to look at right now, our ending balance is $3.773 million and our annual dividend income is roughly $71,000 per year. Let's go ahead and change our dividend tax rate because it'll be in a Roth or a Roth 401k to zero. All we do now is hit calculate dividends and I want you to watch what happens to these numbers. So when we hit calculate dividends, our annual dividend income is now up to $78,375. So roughly $7,000 more per year by doing it in a tax advantaged account. And our ending balance is now $4,176,925. Guys, if you can do this in tax advantaged accounts, it's definitely the way to go. And of course, always check with your CPA. Playing with the dividend calculator is eye-opening, and while we can't predict the next 30 years, using real historical numbers from SCHD gives us a solid projection. In fact, the actual results could be even better. Here's a key takeaway for every investor, beginner or seasoned. You don't need a fortune to set up your future where your investments work for you. Smart choices like SCHD, even starting with $50,000 or growing your portfolio bit by bit, can eventually replace your income. Smart investing and patience can change the game. Let's do a quick recap. A $50,000 investment in SCHD turns into $3,773,170. The total return, 7,446%. The average annual return, 15.5%. After 30 years, your annual dividend income is over $70,799. Some of you are probably sitting there thinking, are these numbers even real? Let's break it down. SCHD's lifetime average annual return is 15.5%. Over the last five years, the total return's been 17.1% and without dividends, it's 11.2%. Those are legit numbers, no fluff, just facts. These numbers are insane and that's exactly why I've laid out every detail so you can see how to run the numbers yourself. Here's the wild part. All of this is based on real historical data from SCHD. No fluff, no hype. That's just the raw power of math. And even if you only hit 50% of these results, you're still walking away a millionaire. Don't take my word for it. Try it out yourself with MarketBeat's free dividend calculator. Today's video isn't just about investing. It's about making decisions that set you up for life. SCHD is the real deal. Reliable dividends, solid growth, and a track record that speaks for itself. If you're hunting for a financial game changer, this is it. Don't just sit on the sidelines. Get your snowball rolling today because the sooner you start, the bigger that snowball gets. And trust me, your future self will thank you. If you're serious about leveling up your investing game and want the inside scoop, join my Patreon. You'll get real-time trade alerts, my top picks, and a daily rundown of the hottest stocks. The link's in the description. Don't sleep on the next big opportunity. And hey, drop a comment below so we can keep this conversation rolling. Stay sharp, and I'll see you in the next video.